Hey there, it's Robin from Free Events, and in this video I'm going to show you how to import tickets into Free Events using a CSV file. I've already set up a spreadsheet which includes the attendee's first name, last name, email address and t-shirt size. Now we'll need to modify this so that it's suitable for importing into Free Events. So the first thing we'll need to add is the event ID. If we're using variations for our event product, we'll need to specify the variation IDs. And then we'll need to specify which field we're going to use, which custom attendee field we're going to use for the t-shirt size. So the easiest way to figure out all this information is to open up an existing ticket and we'll copy what we need from there. And we'll also go to the product info events and grab the product ID and the variation ID. So let's go to our tickets. This imports for a conference, so I'm going to open up one of our existing tickets and now we need to grab the t-shirt size custom attendee ID. So if we look down here, you'll see this ticket is for a small t-shirt size. You can see over here, this is the ID of the custom attendee field. So we're going to copy that. I'm just going to paste it over here. Now when importing this, all these values will be assigned to this custom attendee field. The next thing we need to do is determine the ID of the event these tickets need to be associated with. You can do this by editing the event. And you just copy the event ID from the URL. And we'll just add another column for event ID. These are all for the same event, so I'm just going to copy it all the way down. They all belong to that particular event. Next, because this is a variable product, we'll need to specify the ticket variation. So here we have a standard, delegate, VIP and student. So I'm going to make them all 360, they'll be standard tickets. So to do that, we add another column called variation ID. We're going to make those all 360. Okay. And just to demonstrate, let's make a few of them 362 so that they are VIP tickets. The last thing you want to do is uh, when we import the CSV file, you'll be able to map these columns to the relevant ticket field. So it's not critical that the names are exactly matching what you use in pre events, but if you specify the same column name as what's used in pre events, they'll automatically be mapped for you and that'll just save you time if you're running a lot of imports. So let's edit these and we'll just change it to attendee first name. We'll do the same here. We'll do the same here. So these now have the same column names as what Free Events uses, and Free Events does also use Events ID and Variation ID for these two columns. Okay, so that's our CSV file. It has everything we need. It's been formatted correctly. So now we need to export the spreadsheet as a CSV. And in Google Docs, you just go to Download. Let's choose CSV. Next step is to run the import. So we go to Free Events Import Tickets. Choose the file. Click Continue. This is essentially just allowing you to map which columns belong to which ticket field. Because we specified the same column names, they've automatically been mapped for us. The next step is to run the importer. This will then run validation on all the fields and make sure that the data is all correct. And uh, no errors pop up over here. So it looks like we're good to go. Let's confirm the import. And there you go, the first batch has been completed. So Free Events uh, imports 100 tickets at a time. This is just to make sure that your server doesn't get uh, overloaded and have difficulty running the imports. So now the next step, if we scroll down, is to repeat the import process until all the tickets have been imported. So our, our import included 118 tickets, so we'll need to run this uh, twice in order to complete the import for all tickets. All the fields have matched up. This is why I'm matching the field names to the column names, uh, or matching the column names to the field names uh, saves time. If you do need to run imports of more than 100, you need to fill these out each time, each time which is quite convenient. And 
there you go. All the tickets have been imported. I'll have a quick look at one of them. Yeah, we have the person's name, last name, email address, the t-shirt size, and the ticket variation have all been applied. And that's it for ticket imports. If the tickets that you are importing are for bookable events, there are a few extra steps that you need to follow and you can find these steps uh, by clicking on the help guide link and scrolling down and here we go through everything you need to know in order to import uh, bookable events. I recommend going through this document in general because a lot of details uh, have been added to it that we haven't covered in this video and it'll just ensure that your imports run successfully first time. Thank you for watching.